Hello, my name is Christian Matik from the University of Munich and I'd like to tell you something about our work on diagnosing acute myeloid leukemia using deep learning methods. Now, AML is a type of leukemia whose diagnosis still today involves looking through a microscope and differentiating and manually counting different malignant and non-malignant cell types, types of leukocytes that you can see on this image. Now the aim of this project was to help this very laborious and tedious step using deep learning methods and we did this by compiling a large-scale database of different morphological classes of single cell images which uh, we obtained from scanning uh, the peripheral blood smears of 100 AML patients and 100 control pa patients at a high resolution with oil immersion. We then asked our laboratory staff to classify over 18,000 single cell images into a clinically relevant classification scheme that you can see over here on this slide. Now, building up on that large scale uh, data set of 18,000 cells, which we actually made available to the public, we developed a convolutional neural network model using the ResNext scheme that um, is a, was a very successful um, network used in the classification of natural images. And as you can see down here, the uh, performance of this neural network is pretty good. Um, so the confusion matrix shows a lot of very high diagonal elements. And if we actually use the network just to predict if a given cell is um, malignant or not, is a blast cell or not, we actually even come close to human performance. If you look at this ROC curve over here and the human performance up in the corner, you see that the two are pretty comparable. Now, this is the time to thank our collaborators and funders and to point you to the publication we wrote about the project and to the database, which you can actually use for your own research purposes. It's publicly available, which you can both access over the QR codes uh, printed up here. Thank you very much for your attention.